Yo, YouTube, back again with another tutorial. This time I'm going to do a tutorial that I probably get asked for the most, and that is faux rust. So this cupboard here behind us, we're going to make it look like metal. I think we're going to go with a green, green outer with the rust around the edges. Um, it's quite a dr long drawn out process. Uh, I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible. Um, get stuck in. So the first job for me, I've just filled, there was a little plaque there which I've taken off and just filled it. Now I'm going to take off the handles and then uh, get cracking. So let's go. Right, so I've taken the handles off and I've put these cup handles on and they're bright silver. Um, I could have just painted them but I just quickly sprayed them with some red oxide primer just uh, for the quickness of this video really. Um, if I wasn't doing that, I would just paint them normally. Um, now I'm going to add a few other little bits to this just to give it that extra sort of metal covered look. And they are, you see these little covers and they're usually the covers that are on the back of the drawer that cover the screw up. So I've got them and I've also got a little air vent which I'm going to put at the bottom there. And I can't take credit for these little tips because I got them off a friend of mine, uh, Jonathan Mark Mendes, he showed me this bit. So with these little caps, I'm just going to put some on there. Just going to hammer them in. Just put one there, I'm going to put three down there and three down there. And then uh, I'll put the vent on. So what I'll do is I'll put these on, put the vent on and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've got the studs in, we've got the, the vents in. You don't have to do the vents and the studs, but it does give a good effect, um, especially on cupboards. I've done it on a chest of drawers a few times and not used it, and it still looks as good, but for cupboards, definitely. All right, so now we're gonna put our um, first coat of paint. I'm gonna do a base coat of Athenian black, and just like usual, I'm just gonna cover the whole thing. just a quick coat all over so I'll do that and we'll be back okay so that's the first coat done um, just one coat all over I'm gonna let that dry probably blast it with a hairdryer as well um, and then we'll come back for the next coat I don't know if you can see that patch there that's the bit that I filled I rough filled it I didn't go mad um, if that's still there visible in the next coat then I'll just disguise that with a big blob of rust in the middle so it's not an issue, um, but yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that coat's just about dry. Now I'm gonna go over it again with a stipple coat. A stipple coat all over. Just like that, get the texture in. And, um, okay, so I'm gonna continue with that and then we'll be back. Okay, so the stipple coat is almost dry. It's not quite dry, but now I'm gonna get the brown. If you can see my brown is really thick. So what this part is, I'm gonna pick out all the bits that I want to rust with the brown. So, I mean, that's entirely up to you and you do it wherever you want, but I'm gonna put thick brown around the corners, especially around these studs. I don't know if you can see on camera, but my brown is super thick. So this is giving out great sort of texture, almost rust-like already. On the top as well, dusting the brush. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Do a bit around that handle. Because the paint is so thick, it's perfect for this. If your paint isn't thick, if you're using any Sloan, then you can leave the lid off, leave it off for a couple of days until it goes thick. Um, if you're not using any Sloan, um, I think there's probably some texture in uh, things that you can put in to get texture. 
it's a bit quite heavy there. So around there. Okay, so if I just continue with that and then I'll show you where I'm at when I've done this. Okay, so all the brown is done. If I bring it in and I can show you how thick that brown is. Can you see that? All the way down and around the handles, it's quite thick. And that's just paint. I haven't put anything in the paint. It's just where I've left the lid off for quite a while. Paint's gone thick. And then around the side, I've just added it around the side. And then the bottom as well. Not the bottom of the grill. Nice thick brown. So I'm going to let this dry properly and then we'll go to the next stage. Okay, so this is where we're at. We're just about dry. Um, I've got some Alka Seltzer's tablets which I'm going to crush up. I'll just show you. So there's a tablet there. I don't know if you can see it. Bits of tablets. So I'm going to crush these up and I'm going to use these. There is a, I think Authentico do something called sea salt fizz, um, which is pretty much this, but I haven't got any to hand, so I'm going to use alka So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll just go ahead and crush these up and then we'll start the next bit. Okay, so there's my crushed up alka So we'll use that in a minute. Now we're going to get the green paint out and put the green on. Okay, so we're going to go in with the green. So we're just going to butt up, doesn't matter how close you get, but we're just going to butt up to that because we're going to go back over the brown again. This paint's quite thick as well, so I've got to get the lid off. So now just get as close to the brown as you can. Be thinking, what the hell is he doing? Bring that in a bit closer. Right, 
spray. So now the alka seltzer is going to start to fizz. There is a comp uh, product, like I said, that you can do that, but I didn't have any to hand. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But we're all for winging it. So what I'll do is I'll just take the camera out. And okay, as you can see, now we're starting to fizz. Once this dries, it will, uh, where is it? it will make sense. I'm just going to chuck a little bit more on. Put some paint on there. I want it to drip over that vent. Give it a quick spray over the bottom. All right, so I'm just going to continue. I'm going to paint the sides exactly the same way and the top. Wait for this to dry, and then we'll go back in with the rust again. Okay, so I've done the sides, I've done the top, uh, the front's still wet. I'm just going to wait. I need these bits to dry before I can go back in with the, the brown. But it still doesn't quite look like rust, does it? But the next stage, it should all start to come together. So we'll be back when this is dry. Okay, so we're pretty much dry. Now what I'm going to do is just go back over the brown. So, so if I just do it in little sections so you can see, my brown is very thick, so I'm just going to add some water. I really wanted Annie Sloan Isles, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using some Tilton mixed with Honfleur. It's a bit like a mustardy colour. So I'm just going to dab that in. I'm dab that in like so into the wet brown. That's not quite the colour I want, but we'll work with it. Just like stippling it on again. And same brush, a little bit of Barcelona orange, just a little dab on the end. think of rust it's not like uniformed it's all bits and pieces here and there so
very bright on the camera. brown brush, got the brown paint on it. Just go back over. So we're just building up like a couple of layers with the orange, the yellow and the brown again if you want. Orange. Just working it in all over. Brown. Brown's got paint on the brush. I haven't added any extra, but it's just. Okay, so I think if I just do this bit and I'll go over the whole thing and then we can come back. It's almost a little bit like dry brushing. to add any more paint on that yet, that's just enough. Okay, that's looking good. Right, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the whole thing and then we'll jump back on. Okay, so I've just gone over the whole front. I haven't done the sides yet. I mean, it looks pretty bright on camera because the lighting in here is terrible, but once we've waxed that and dark waxed it, it, it will tone it right down. But, it, you know, you've got your... So we've got the brown, orange and yellow, and you just... You can just stab bits in wherever you think. So you think it's a bit too bright, a bit too much orange, put a bit of brown on it not enough, a bit of orange, and you're just building up the layers, but that's pretty much it for that bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the sides and the top and we'll be back. Okay, so I've done the sides, rust is all pretty much done, but the last little thing we're going to do, we've got my spray bottle, going to miss the rusty bits. Heater on there, come in it. So just miss that, and I've got my paint lid with a little bit of orange in it. I want to water that down. So I've got some nice watered down orange, and I'm just going to little bits of it around, like so. that spray okay 
it looks bright but it's still bad light in here I will take pictures at the end again and show you Yeah, that does look bright, but it ain't that bright. <laughs> I'm not to be over it with a dark wax as well. So if you want to get rid of some of this, this is a little bit too much, just give it a spray. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to just do carry on with that around the sides um, and we'll be back for the waxing. So you can see the Alka Seltzer. If I was to wax that now, I'd just wipe it all off and it actually looks really cool that white and that handle there. So We'll leave it there and we'll be back tomorrow to wax it. Okay, so we are back again. Um, it's all fully dry, so I'm going to go ahead and wax it now. I'll just uh, show you some of the wax and then we'll skip it. So I'll put the clear wax on first. doesn't matter if you get any of the brown or black on the green as well, you can do that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and wax the whole thing and then we'll come back. Okay, so we have waxed it and what a difference the wax makes, eh? I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. It's not looking great on this video because of the bad light, but I'm going to take some pictures of it and um, you'll see it at the end of the video. But that is the Rust tutorial. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, 
you know what to do like and subscribe if you want find me on insta the rocky crystal interiors um yeah thanks again